In this video, I will show you how to set the framing square up using the stair gauges and then marking out the stair stringer. I'm pointing to the 10, the measurement of the tread, 10 inches and 7 and a half inches here. Tread, that's the point for the tread, that's the point for the riser. These are the stair gauges. Once I get the framing square where I want it, I can position the stair gauges and tighten them up, secure them to the framing square, and then I can make some sample marks. Now these aren't going to be sample marks if they work, but if I need to make any adjustments, then uh, I'll either turn the 2x12 over the stair stringer and start on the other side or position my lines in another spot and cross the other ones out um, so that I don't get confused. So I've made two marks, two stair step marks. Now I can check the riser height and make sure that it's seven and a half inches. <coughs> you might not be able to see that, but that looks like it is there. And now I'm checking the tread width to make sure that it's 10 inches. You'd be surprised how many times you set up your framing square and you're off by an eighth of an inch. If you have 10 steps um, that you're laying out and you're off an, uh, an eighth of an inch, you're going to be off an inch and a quarter. So keep that in mind. Make sure that these measurements are right on. Now I'm laying out the rest of the stair steps. Now I'm lining the riser mark up with the tread mark to, to position my, my framing square before I mark it. 